When conditions are right, we can enjoy the northern lights, but forecasters at the Space Center Prediction Center are busy focusing on the impacts these solar storms have on our society. Meteorologist Jacob Morse explains. Located in Boulder, Colorado, the SWPC monitors the sun for impactful space weather that could disrupt systems on our planet. Coronal mass ejections are explosive plasma eruptions from the sun's outer atmosphere, and if directed at Earth, they can not only result in a viewing opportunity for the aurora, but also impact our infrastructure and technology. The Space Weather Prediction Center constantly communicates with industries that could be affected. Whether it's the power grid, which can be dramatically impacted by an extreme space weather event, to the point of potential collapse, that's, that's the main federal government concern there. Satellites, operating them uh, properly. Astronaut health, aviation can be harmed by radiation exposure due to extreme space weather events of a certain type. GPS accuracy, which is important to North Dakota. A lot of the combines and things are using uh, precision GPS to navigate and be within accuracy of inches, right, when they're working on their crops. Uh, that can be dramatically off the mark when it comes to an extreme space weather event as well. The intensity of solar storms is placed on a scale from 1 to 5. When activity reaches G3, the SWPC calls coordinators responsible for most of North America's power grid to allow them to mitigate potential problems. These forecasts can change rapidly with the vast distance from the sun to Earth. We're trying to predict activity from the sun 93 million miles away. What's it going to be like by the time it gets to that satellite a million miles from Earth and then ultimately at here and around our planet? Very challenging. As we approach the maximum of a solar cycle later this year, the increased solar activity should keep SWPC forecasters busy, safeguarding our society with actionable space weather information. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse. Jacob will have more on the National Centers for Environmental Prediction next week talking about the Environmental Modeling Center.